Oh, the high school football season is about a month away and teams are working hard to prepare for the upcoming 2018 season. EKB Sports is ready to unveil our preseason Super 7. So here we go. Coming in at number 7 is the Mingo Central Miners. Mingo Central's had the most lethal offense the last several years in West Virginia. The Miners have won 25 of their last 26 games, including a trip to the Class AA field of the state semifinals. Josh Sammons moves over from defensive coordinator to head coach. Mingo Central will be breaking in 17 new starters. Coming in at number six, we have the Floyd Central Jaguars. Floyd Central is coming off their inaugural season in which the Jaguars finished eight and four, including a home playoff win. Floyd Central lost majority of their line and quarterback. However, they have still plenty of pieces in place to make another similar run. Coming in at number five, Joe Cherico and the Painsville Tigers. Paintsville, coming off last season's heartbreaking loss to Raceland, returned six starters. The Tigers finished 11-2. They returned enough talent, including quarterback Jake Hyden, to make another strong run at it in 2018. Our number four team in the Super 7, Lawrence County, the Bulldogs coached by Alan Short. If any team is going to challenge Belfry in the district this season, this is going to be the team. They return 18 starters, including quarterback Noah West. The Bulldogs should increase their win total and district seating from one season ago. In at number three, the Panthers of Pikeville High School. Last season, the young Panthers started out slow by going one and four. The team overachieved and finished strong by advancing to the state semifinals. With nearly the entire squad coming back, Coach Chris McNamee's ball club has a solid shot in bringing home the program's fifth state title. In at number two, oh, they're going to be upset, but the Pond Creek Nation, the Belfry Pirates. Coached by Philip Haywood, entering his 43rd season on the sidelines with 428 wins, they're hungry to make it back to the Class 3A game after missing out last season. With the line intact and quarterback Avery Browning returning, the Pirates have more than enough talent to win its seventh state title. The potential roadblock, however, is Boyle County. And at number one in our EKB Sports Super 7, Jim Matney and the Johnson Central Golden Eagles. Johnson Central stacked like pancakes. They returned nearly everyone off last year's team that advanced to the Class 4A championship game, which finished 12-3. Expect the Golden Eagles to be a power for the next several years, as Coach Jim Matney says that this year's freshman class is the best he's ever had. 